Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we've got a beer that I uh, picked up at Beretta and it's from one of my favourite German craft breweries and that is Camber Bavaria and this is the Reinheitsgebot beer which is part of the Phantom series which I'll quickly read you what it says about the Phantom series on the label, doesn't say too much. Uh, Phantom series, innovative, unique, limited and crazy. So, uh, yeah, from what I've read, these are more, um, in this line, are experimental beers and limited run beers, that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, when I saw this in uh, Beretta, I thought I'd give it a try because it's Camber Bavaria. And I'm interested to see how they celebrate, you know, the anniversary of the Purity Laws. So this beer is clocking in at... 5.2% and from what I can gather it's pretty much just a uh, bottom fermented um, like Dortmunder Hellers sort of thing so I'm guessing it's going to be like a really nicely hopped um, lager essentially but yeah it doesn't really say too much on the label at all just tells you to store beer in cool dark places and let's see what else it says it's celebration beer number one just tells you the ingredients, water, barley malt, hops and yeast. But yeah, really, really like that artwork. Uh, all of them in this range have the artwork and then the different colour coded for the different styles. So I'll get this beer opened and poured. And not really picking up too much smoke in there. Not much smoke at all actually. But uh, yeah, like I said, I do enjoy Camber Bavaria, so I'm interested to see what this tastes like. And it's always good to try limited release beers. But I'm guessing the fact that there's English language on this, that it should hopefully be easy to pick up um, outside of Germany. I know I've seen a few uh, British beer tubers um, with Camber beers, so some of them probably do get imported quite a lot but yeah beer in a glass and that is exactly what you would expect it's a you know very hoppy hazy well not very hazy there's haze there though nice dark orange on a strawy few bits of sediment floating around and a really really nice steady smooth carbonation going up the glass beer poured with just on well just around one finger's worth of white fluffy head and uh yeah looks really nice so far it's a little bit darker than some lot well it's got like i don't know to me it's got a bit more like an orangey hue compared to a regular hellas but um yeah you could definitely tell of the style so on the aroma you're getting a lot of hops straight up There's like sort of like a caramel brown sugar aroma there as well. There's a little bit of a citrus kick. But underneath that hoppiness you do get those almost like hell of sort of smells. There's like a, a sort of earthy herbiness. But yeah, those fruit fruit notes are coming in really nice as well. And it it's not like um it's not a messy beer on the aroma. It's nicely balanced between the, the two sort of main aromas that you get there. So it's really nicely balanced. But yeah, really, really nice, almost like lime citrus smell. So yeah, really nice to look at, really nice to smell. Let's see what it's actually like to taste. So cheers. The first thing that I get straight away is hop bitterness and it's not really necessarily like grapefruit. It's got a real strong lime bitterness sour kick to it. But then you do slowly get some of those like almost lychee, not completely tropical. Um, hoppy flavours. You are picking up the malts in there as well. I am picking up a bit of the yeast in the flavour also. 
but yeah, it's got a, a real, like, striking sourness and bitterness throughout. And, I don't know, I'm not really... I mean, it's described as, like, a fall beer. And that's usually, like, a Dortmunder Hellers sort of style. I'm not really getting that at all with this. Those hops really do come through. And the the one thing that's a little bit jarring about this beer is just how sour it is. And it's not like a sour like it's gone off or anything like that. It's from that like hop, really bitter hop. And it's almost like a lemon juice sort of flavours, lime juice, that sort of thing. Which once you get used to that, it's a really nice little beer actually. It's got a nice, almost creamy mouthfeel. Not like a, a milk stout or stout like that, but a little bit heavier and a bit more. I don't know, it's got a bit more volume than a regular like pale ale or a hoppy beer in general or like a regular lager. There's a bit of weight behind it, but very pleasant mouthfeel. I don't know, it's that, that bitterness that you get. I could definitely see that really not doing anything for some people. And I don't know, uh, it's, a, it's a strange one, this one. Um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, it's not my favourite Camber beer that I've tried. But then again, some of the Camber beers that I have tried, they would be hard to beat by anyone. But yeah, this isn't my favourite, um, and aside from like the hoppiness, I don't know, it's not really too exciting for me. <laughs> but it's a really nicely crafted beer, don't get me wrong. But I don't know, I don't, I, maybe I was probably setting myself up a bit too much, uh, just expecting this to be an outstanding beer. It happens. Um, it's not really delivered too much. But it's a it's a really good beer. You know, you wouldn't complain about it. You definitely wouldn't give it a negative score or anything like that. But uh, beers like this, other beers like this. But then again, you can't really say that because this is a really er experimental beer. So maybe I'm just really not, you know, used to it. Um, and I'm guessing with beers like this, you're either going to really enjoy it or you're going to be like, well, what's this? Um, I don't know. It's not my thing. Um, it's not ticking all the boxes for me, but it's still a good beer and it's definitely deserving of a 7 out of 10 um, You've got to really you know, hand it to brewers who try something different and they've got a line of these beers now limited run And it's one of those ones where like I was saying you're either going to really enjoy it or you're really not going to like it But um, that being said, I didn't really hate it, but I didn't really you know love it But it's not the worst camber beer that I've tried either um, so don't, you know, it's 7 out of 10, that's all I really need to say. Um, not for everyone, I'll just put it that way. So, uh, 7 out of 10 for Camber Bavaria's Reinheitsgebot Celebration Beers, part of the Phantom Series. If you want to find out more about that, then links will be down below. Uh, check out the Camber Bavaria playlist as well, because I've reviewed a few of the beers now and enjoyed. I've enjoyed all of them, but this hasn't been my favourite. And uh, yeah, if you've tried this beer, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If any of my viewers are German, uh, then feel free to you know air your thoughts and opinions on this beer also. Uh, what's your favourite German craft beer or craft brewery? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe for more beer reviews. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you on the next beer review. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.